How does Parliament work? In the previous chapter, we looked at the background of Parliament, how parliamentary systems are set up, the constituency, and how Parliament evolved here in Sri Lanka. In this chapter, we will take a look at how Parliament functions. And this is an important aspect in the fundamentals of parliamentary procedure. How does members of Parliament get elected? And how do they get selected into key positions in Parliament? At the outset, we must discuss the stakeholders that play a key role in elections. Now, these are the electors or the constituents. Who are electors? The members of parliament are elected to parliament by those who have a right to vote at an election. They are the people known as electors, also known as voters. Qualifications and disqualifications to be registered as an elector or voter is listed out in the constitution in articles 88 and 89. These articles state that if a person doesn't fall into the disqualification categories listed in these articles, every person shall be qualified to be an elector. This is applicable to elections of the president, members of parliament, or to vote at any referendum. Article 88 also states that a person has to enter his name in the appropriate register of electors to be entitled to vote. Let's talk about how does an elector get disqualified. The following points contain a brief look at the disqualification criteria of an elector. The detailed disqualifications are provided for in Article 89. A person is disqualified from voting at an election 1. If he is not a citizen of Sri Lanka. 2. If he is not 18 years on the qualifying date. And 3. If he is declared to be of unsound mind under any laws present in Sri Lanka. And fourthly, being imprisoned or prior to imprisonment, if he is convicted by a court of law and is currently in prison or was in prison within seven years immediately or before the voting date for a period of more than six months for an offence where the punishment was two years or more in prison or was given the death penalty or if he is currently in prison or was in prison within seven years immediately before the voting date and completed the serving of his sentence of imprisonment for a term of more than six months awarded in lieu of execution of such sentence. However, if any person disqualified under this provision is granted a free pardon, such disqualification shall cease from the date on which the pardon is granted. Also, if within the last seven years, a person was convicted for violating certain legal provisions or from engaging in corrupt practices relating to election, referendum or bribery laws of the country, he will be disqualified. If within the last five years, he was convicted for violating certain provisions in the local authorities' election law or the public body's prevention of corruption ordinance or any law that corresponds to the identified provisions, he will be disqualified. If within the last three years a person was convicted for violating certain legal provisions relating to illegal practice under Ceylon Parliamentary Elections Order in Council 1946 or any law that corresponds to the identified provision, that person will also be disqualified. If within the last seven years a person was convicted of certain provisions of the penal code or was convicted of an offence of contempt relating to any special presidential commission of inquiry, that person will be disqualified. If a resolution to impose civil disability has been passed upon him and the period of disability is still in force, that person is not a water or will be disqualified from being a water or an elector. If the period of disqualification imposed under Article 116 and Article 111C is still valid, that person too is disqualified from being an elector. Let's now take a look at qualifications to become a member of parliament. According to section 14 of the Parliamentary Elections Act No. 1 of 1981, any person who is qualified to be elected as a member of parliament in terms of Article 90 of the Constitution may be nominated as a candidate for an election. Article 90 of the Constitution states that every person who is qualified to be an elector shall be qualified to be elected as a member of parliament unless he is disqualified under the provisions of Article 91. How does a person get disqualified for election as a member of parliament? 
The following points contain a brief look at the disqualification criteria for a person in an election as a member of parliament. The detailed disqualifications are provided for in Article 91 of the Constitution. A person is disqualified from being elected as a member of parliament or to sit and vote in parliament 1. If he is or becomes subject to any disqualification specified in Article 89 of the Constitution. 2. If he is nominated as a candidate for election in more than one electoral district at the general election or by more than one recognized political party or independent group in respect of any electoral district or he is nominated for an election district and before the conclusion of the election for that electoral district he stands nominated as a candidate for election for another electoral district or by virtue of the office he is in he may be disqualified. The President of the Republic is disqualified from contesting at a parliamentary election. Also, a Judicial Officer, the Parliamentary Commissioner for Administration, the Secretary General of Parliament or a member of his staff, a member of any commission, a member of the Provincial Public Service Commission, the Commissioner General of Elections, the Auditor General, a Public Officer or a member of the Sri Lanka State Audit Service holding an office, an Officer of the Provincial Public Service holding any office, an officer in any public cooperation holding office, a member of the regular forces of the Army, Navy and Air Force, a police officer or a public officer exercising police functions are all disqualified from contesting a parliamentary election. Also, a member of parliament except in the circumstances referred to in Article 70, Sub-Article 7 or Article 154, Sub-Article 4.1 stands nominated as a candidate for an election for any electoral district. If he has any such interest in any such contract made by or on behalf of the state or a public cooperation as parliament shall by law prescribe, that person will be disqualified from contesting at the election. Now a person, if he is undischarged, bankrupt or insolvent, having been declared bankrupt or insolvent, that person too is also disqualified from contesting. If within seven years immediately before a person has been adjudged by a competent court or by a special presidential commission of inquiry to have accepted a bribe or gratification offered with the view of influencing his judgment as a member of parliament or as a member of the legislature prior to the commencement of the constitution, that person too will be disqualified from contesting a parliamentary election.